Johnson of the International Secret Police. Clint and Barney are at Dr. Kingsley's home with Bob Gilmore, meeting there after various and exciting adventures to discuss future plans for capturing the octopus and his gang. Meanwhile, the criminal, knowing that his enemies, with the exception of Lee Ying, Hong Kong representative of the International Secret Police, are gathered under one roof, takes steps to destroy them all in one final attack. Accordingly, he sends Quan Wu to the doctor's house to make sure that all is well. Meanwhile, Clint, suspecting something, detains Quan Wu for questioning. At the same time, the octopus, hearing no word from Wu, takes it for granted that all is well and sends his van to the house, saying that he himself will be there to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Meanwhile, the boys discover that the telephone wires have been cut. Golly, Clint, if the wires have been cut, we'd better tell the police guard in the garden so they can get word to the Hong Kong police chief. Yes, Speed. First, I want to make sure that Quan Wu can't do any more harm than he's already done. We don't want an octopus gangster roaming around the house at will. But, Mr. Barlow... I tell you that I know nothing of what you are talking about. When I used the telephone an hour ago, I was able to call out. Uh, we won't argue about that now. There isn't time. If you should be innocent, uh, which I doubt very much, you can easily prove your innocence later. And meanwhile... Oh, say, Barney, uh, you have a pair of handcuffs? You betcha. And I'm just aching to use them on this guy. Where do you want him? Uh, take him out and handcuff him to the post at the foot of the stairs. Uh, he'll be out of the way there. Okay. Come on, Quan Wu. This is an outrage. You shall pay for this. Good heavens, all this seems like a nightmare. Uh, we're in a bad spot, Dr. Kingsley. We'll come out of it if we don't lose our heads. We have one advantage by keeping Quan Wu with us. I have an idea that he's one of the most important men in the octopus gang. We might be able to use him as a hostage. Uh, though I doubt it. When it comes to a showdown, the octopus has always sacrificed anything or anyone to save his own skin. Anything I can do, Clint? Oh, oh yes, Bob. Now, uh, you know where our men are spotted out in the garden. And you also know of the Hong Kong police line outside the garden wall. Yes? Well, go out and tell the captain what has happened. Dispatch a man to the chief of police for reserves and plenty of ammunition. All right, here I go. And, oh, Bob. Yes? Now, watch yourself. There may already be octopus gangsters in the neighborhood. And come back here as soon as you've warned the police to be on their guard. You bet, Clint. Don't worry about me. Oh, Clint, what about Jean? Well, that's the only thing that's really worrying me, Doctor. We might be able to get her out of the house, but I hate to run that risk. With the phone wires cut, there must be octopus men nearby. No, I, I think she's safer inside. Look, here she comes with Barney now. Look who met me on the stairs while I was anchoring Quan Wu. Hello, everybody. Oh, Jean, I thought you were in bed. I was, Daddy, but I couldn't sleep. So I thought I'd come down and listen to you all talk about the octopus some more. Why was Barney handcuffing Mr. Wu to the stair post? Well, he's one of the octopus gang, Jean. Mr. Wu? You mean he knew where Marsha was all the time? Sure he did. Yeah, now wait, wait just a minute, Speed. We can't be too sure. But as soon as this present trouble is straightened out, we'll make sure. What trouble, Clint? Now, now, don't bother Clint with questions, honey. You better go back to bed. Oh, please let me stay down here for a little while, Daddy. Well, what about it, Clint? Don't you think Jean had better stay upstairs? Uh, yes, I do. And you see that she gets to her room. Will you, Speed? Okay, Clint. Come on, Jean, and hurry. I've got business down here. Oh, I wish I could stay down too. Oh, I wonder what's keeping Bob. He's had enough time to do what he had to do and get back here. How about getting out the ammunition while we're waiting? Oh, yes, yes. My uh, gun case is over there. Help yourselves. Lucky you have a hobby of collecting guns, Doc. May come in handy now. Now, as soon as Bob and Speed return, I think it might be a good idea to turn off the lights in this room, Doctor. And you'd better go up to Jean's room and keep an eye on her, too. But, uh, go armed. Do you think the octopus is really planning an attack on this house, Clint? Well, yeah, looks that way. But they'll have to come through the garden, and what with Bob warning the police guard and us waiting here in the dark, we'll be ready for them.
Lou, you have taken care of the police guard very ably. Now my men are stationed around Dr. Kingsley's house instead of the police. Eh? Yes, master. Good. Now here we are at the chimney of the house. I press this nail and behold. Quiet, quiet. Make no noise. We do not want Barlow and the others to become suspicious. Are you sure Quan Wu is out of the house, master? By this time, yes. But you, master, you think it wise to risk coming here in person? I risk nothing, Lou. I am enjoying this opportunity of directing the attack in person. I'm tired of sitting in my headquarters talking to my men over a microphone. No one can identify me so long as I wear this mask. I'm safe. It is you who run the risk. See that you do not fail in the attack. We shall not fail, master. Be careful. Someone is coming. I'm going to stay out of sight. Whoever it is, receive him as though you are a member of the police. Then use your blackjack on him so that he cannot give the alarm. Very well, master. Hello. Hello. Where's your captain of police? I am the captain. Oh, uh, I'm Bob Gilmore of the secret police. Clint Barlow asked me to tell you that... Hey, wait a minute. You're not the man who was captain when we came in. I... Oh, 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 oh. All is well, master. The intruder is unconscious. Good work, Lou. Good work. So this is Bob Gilmore. <laughs> ah, but we have no time to waste on him. Quick, into the secret passage with you all. I shall wait here at the entrance. It will not take us long to accomplish our mission, master. Remember, this passage comes out at the head of the stairs. Govern your actions accordingly. Do not give the secret police or anyone else in the house a chance. No, master. Come in. Follow me. I've got to go downstairs and help Clinton Barney, Jean. Your dad will probably be up to stay with you. But I don't want to stay alone. Can I go down with you and tell Daddy to come right up with me? Now, what's the sense of that? We just got up here, now you want to turn around and go back again. Well, I'm scared. Knowing that Mr. Wu is an octopus gangster kind of frightens me. Oh, all right. Come on. But if I'd known you were going to come right down again, I wouldn't have gone to the trouble of bringing you upstairs. I'm sorry, Steve. Well, I guess girls are different than fellas at that. Come along. Please tell me what you're expecting to happen. Nope, can't do that. That's official business. Well, I'm almost in the secret police. I've been in so many adventures with you. No, you're not. It isn't our fault you were in those adventures. You just happened to come along at the wrong time. It's getting so every time I see you, I expect something to happen. Don't talk so loud. Well, why not? We're almost at the head of the stairs. And you don't want Mr. Wu to hear what you're saying, do you? Don't know why not. But look, they've turned the lights out downstairs. We'd better do the same up here. Why do you turn them off? Right at the head of the stairs, Speed. For the hall lights, anyhow. But how can we see to get down, then? I got my flashlight with me. Clint must have wanted those lights out for a good reason. So I'll... Hey, hey, listen. What's that noise? Sounds like somebody's on the other side of this wall. They couldn't be. Oh, I don't know. Look, that panel's moving. Quick, turn out the lights, Jean, and then get back out of the way. Oh, dear. Can you see anything in this darkness? You can just make out sheets. Keep quiet now. The panel's opening. All right, now. All of you, come on out down the stairs. Something has gone wrong. All the lights are off. We must follow the octopus' orders just the same. Oh, 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 the octopus again. And they're going down the stairs after Clint and Barney. Oh, what do we do? Kwan Wu's handcuffed down at the foot of the stairs. He'll tell them what's happened, and also tell them that I came up here with you. Some of them will be back looking for us. Oh. Now, don't get excited. Let me think. I've got to get down there to warn Clint. But how? The octopus gang is blocking the stairs and the landing. Now, I've got it. I'll go out through the secret passage. Oh, no, Speed. You can't. You may meet some more of the gang in the passage. I don't think so, Jean. I think they've all gone downstairs. It'll take them a time to get located and talk with Quan Wu. That'll give me time to get down there and warn Clint in the library. Do you know anything about this passage, Jean? No. I didn't even know it was here. You'd better come with me. I think it'll be safer than leaving you alone in your room. Oh, yes. Do you think Quan Wu saw us up here before we turned the lights out? Not a chance. Come on now. Let's get through that panel. And watch your step. Don't trip or make any noise that'll give us away. No. 
Go ahead. I'm following. Okay. I'm through. Now, I'll help you. All right. Go ahead. We have to go down steps. Watch yourself. As soon as we get down a little, I'll use my flashlight. This is what we heard on the other side of the wall. Yeah. Here's some light now. We can hurry faster. All right. Now we're on level ground. Come on. Let's run, Jean. We haven't got much time. All right. But don't let go of my hand. Well, I won't. He certainly twists and turns a lot. Let's go around the rooms on the lower floor. Be as quiet as you can, Jean. Don't want him to hear us. Oh, no. I hope we're in time to tell Cliff what's happened. The air's getting cooler. We must be getting near the end of the passage. And I guess it leads outside. Maybe into your garden. I hope so. We can just call into the library window then. Well, what's worrying me is how did that octopus gang get past the police guards outside and inside the garden in the first place? Maybe there's a secret tunnel leading into the garden. Either that or they've... Surprised them all and slugged them. Sure hope not. Look, there's the end of the passage. Yeah. Quick now, let's get out and... Oh, what's that man in the black mask? Get behind me, Jean. <laughs> are, are you the, the octopus? Yes, Pete Gibson. I am the octopus. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. And now you have come to me. <laughs> Just as my men have gone to Clint Barney and Dr. Kingsley to end their uh, careers. Clint Barlow has always wanted to meet me face to face. Now, he shall. (laughs) 